Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. Offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. In the Old Testament sacrifice was important but obedience from the heart, and out of love, not fear, was more important. 1 Samuel 15:22. But Samuel said, Does the Lord so delight in holocausts and sacrifices as in obedience to the command of the Lord? God wants us to offer ourselves on a daily basis, by not being programmed by the secular world values, and its perceived need for prosperity. When we comply with our belief and identity systems, we received from God we live as free and powerful people. Verse 2, Do not conform yourselves to this age but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. Nab. Isn't our world about selfishness, arrogance, and pride? Whoever has more money, more things, more fame, wins the worldly race. Our refusal to conform to worldly standards must go beyond just saying no, it must go deeper, our refusal must be firmly rooted in God's word. As J.B. Phillips says, I don't care what the world is doing. I'm not going to let it squeeze me into its mold. The real question is, do we act like the thermometer, which adjusts to the temperature of the world, and our culture? Or are we the thermostat, that is changing the climate of the culture? If you are the thermometer you are always changing in order to copy, the climate or culture. Thermometers can't change the climate, they can only mimic it, but change can be brought about at the direction of the thermostat. We can change culture if we change the behavior of those living in it. What you do today can improve all your tomorrows. Ralph Marston